Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today it's going to be a bit more important and a bit more interesting. I've got a psychological thing up my sleeve. It's a little trick I always lock into and lock on to. It's interesting, it's complex and very much hard to achieve. But once you understand that peak, you'll be able to know what it feels like. A concept known as the flow or the flow state. It's interesting because there's many variation to it. The trance state, the zone, etc. Many different names that are occupied by this certain criteria. I'll be talking about all of them, but basically all of them are just a subcategory or subside of the flow state. Some of them for artists, writing or painting. Some of them for athletes that are doing sports and multiple different other things. But I'm going to be saying sp flow state and what study influences it. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. We've all actually achieved a state of flow state once in our life. Not even once, but it's rather the habit. When you're, for example, typing every day, there's a moment in time where you don't remember what you're typing, you don't know why you're typing, but you're typing. And you're typing correctly, no problems, no spelling errors. You're typing perfectly. That is the case of flow state. It's as if your brain taps into an unconscious state, a state where it is able to function on its own without your command. It's as if you're letting the kingdom, you're letting the body take over and you're letting yourself do whatever you want without your brain's interruption. I'm going to be talking about this. Now this right here, this is known as involuntary, what we can call uh, uncontrollable or unknown flow state. It happens randomly, we never have an idea of when it is about to happen. But there is the art of achieving the flow state. You have to understand what the flow state is to achieve that. It's basically your brain stops to interfere. You're actually doing something unconsciously. You're able to perform acts that you wouldn't have thought were possible. All because of one thing, which is the flow state. In an unconscious state, you stop putting effort and even breathing can feel like a problem, like an uh, interruption. Your focus is solely on one thing. Meanwhile, your focus is not there. So let me give you a weird example. I have a stupid, I have a stupid path of ADHD. Now, why is that? I'm lazy. I don't do whatever I want to do, what work I have. But then whenever there's that deadline coming to my face and punching me and telling me, uh, oh, you've, you've got to do this. There's that adrenaline and suddenly the thing that would have taken me two hours suddenly is done in 30 minutes. That is what we call adrenaline. And what I want you to do is combine adrenaline and flow state. I've done this and it's very much interesting. It's a very weird feeling that you're able to lock on, tap on to something without actually having any problem into it. You're able to get into the flow state and you're able to do and perform well while not having any problems. Let me describe to you how that is. Basically, in a sense, for example, when I'm writing my computer, I see all the people that are nearly going to be at a one slight point. They are going to be ahead of me. And it's that adrenaline amount that just kicks in and I'm, I'm feeling that I'm losing. And each time I feel that those geniuses are about to win from me, my ego comes in and it just crashes down to me. It just comes that if I do not win, I will remain a nobody. And that's what I don't want. I want to win and that is very much important for me to win, to be best, to be the better version of myself and to be who I need to be, not who I want to be or not who I am because that would be what influences me. I want to be different from all the other people, from all the versions. If I do not take down the people that are better than me, the geniuses with 90 percentages and above 90, if I don't take them down, nothing will change. I'll remain the same. But if I take down someone else, someone bigger, someone stronger, someone smarter than me, I'll be a rank up, I'll be a level up, and I'll be winning. And that is what egoism, and that is what adrenaline does. And then I lock on to the flow state, a case where you are able to actually just do stuff by your own. I don't think, I write like 30, 40 paragraphs and I just write, I don't stop. It's never stopping, it's, it's this 
infinitely strong version of yourself that just continues going and you don't need to put the physical you don't need to put the physical efforts lots of times when i'm having exams i write like this much long paragraphs and the problem is whenever i write those it's interesting to see sometimes i just while i'm writing i just get out of the flow state and i'm like thinking what was i thinking of writing that is because you are interrupted by something that takes your focus away and makes you unable to be in the flow state or remain in the flow state and that that's what we call distractions i don't want you to have distractions i want you to have complete focus on that one simple object one simple aspect one simple thing and once you are able to have that focus you will be able to conjure anything and you will be able to win that was all thank you so much for watching and allah hafiz